físico britânico nascido na Nova Zelândia, Ernest Rutherford, contribuiu para a fundação e o desenvolvimento da física nuclear e da moderna teoria quântica. Ele estudou a radioatividade e a natureza das partículas alfa, carregadas positivamente. Sua descoberta mais importante foi a natureza da estrutura do átomo. Ele percebeu que a carga positiva de um átomo está concentrada no centro, num minúsculo e denso núcleo. A liderança e o trabalho de Rutherford inspiraram duas gerações de cientistas. Em 1908, recebeu o Prêmio Nobel de Química e em 1925, foi escolhido presidente da Real Sociedade de Londres. O mistério de como os elétrons se fizeram dentro do átomo foi eventualmente resolvido aqui, em Manchester, neste edifício, em 1911, por Ernest Rutherford. Rutherford was, in my opinion, one of the first proper particle physicists because he used beams of particles as projectiles to explore the structure of matter. Now, of course, in Rutherford's day, there was no such thing as a particle accelerator. So he used the decay of radioactive elements to produce his beams of particles. This is Rutherford's original desk. And in fact, if you hunt around a little bit, you can detect traces of radioactivity a hundred years later. Rutherford asked two of his students, Hans Geiger and Ernest Marsden, to fire some alpha particles at a piece of thin gold foil and see what happened. So imagine these tennis balls are the alpha particles. Now if the atom were as Thomson had suggested, a kind of amorphous blob, then you'd expect the alpha particles to pass right through. And that's indeed what happened to most of them. But to their surprise, they found that around one in 8,000 bounced right back. After two years of puzzling over the meaning of these results, Rutherford realised that in order for the alpha particles to bounce back, they must hit something small and dense. So his new model of the atom was a bit like the solar system, with all the mass concentrated at the centre and the electrons orbiting like planets around the sun. Today, we know that this picture isn't quite correct. Quantum mechanics tells us that we can't know precisely where the electrons are but we can predict that they reside in distinct shells around the nucleus. Rutherford's alpha particle scattering experiment was remarkably direct and simple and it showed the nature of what the atomic structure is. By the way the alpha particles bounce off the atom, he worked out where the positive charge of the atom lives. Rutherford had come to the astonishing conclusion that most of the atom, and therefore most of what we think of as ordinary matter, is in fact empty space. So if this apple were the atomic nucleus, the electrons would be a kilometre away. After discovering the nucleus, Rutherford continued doing experiments, firing particles at different targets to delve into the structure of the nucleus itself. By 1932, Rutherford and his colleague James Chadwick had found that the nucleus is made of two kinds of particles, positively charged protons and electrically neutral neutrons. The discovery in these experiments of neutrons, uncharged atoms of mass one, has proved of great significance and importance, and has given us a much clearer understanding of the actual structure of nuclei. The nucleus of an atom was first discovered when a beam of positively charged particles emitted from a radioactive source was aimed at a fluorescent screen. The particles caused the fluorescent screen to glow. When a very thin sheet of gold foil was placed in the pathway of the particle beam, a few particles were deflected to the side. Occasionally, particles were deflected straight back. But nearly all particles passed right through the gold foil, as if it were not there. The scientists concluded that atoms must be mostly empty space, and that because some particles are deflected, there must be a small positively charged central mass, which they called the nucleus. <laughs> 